Hey everyone, welcome back to Easy Car Electrics. Today we're diving into one of the most important sensors in your car, the oxygen sensor or O2 sensor. We'll explain how it works, what those voltage readings mean, and why they fluctuate. Trust me, it's simpler than you think. First off, what exactly is an O2 sensor? Think of it as your car's fuel efficiency detective. It sits in your exhaust system and constantly monitors how much unburned oxygen is in your exhaust gases. This information helps your car's computer, the ECU, determine if your engine runs too rich or too lean. Now let's talk voltage. Your O2 sensor is sending electrical signals to your car's computer. These signals range from 0.1 to 0.9 volts. When your sensor reads 0.1 volt, you have a lean mixture with too much oxygen. On the flip side, a reading of 0.9 volt indicates a rich mixture with too much fuel. Here's something cool. Your O2 sensor voltage constantly dances up and down. Why? Because your car is always trying to maintain the perfect air-fuel ratio of 14.7 by 1. That's like having exactly 14.7 grams of air for every 1 gram of fuel. Let me break down this constant voltage dance. When the mixture gets rich and hits 0.9 volt, the sensor detects less oxygen in the exhaust prompting the ECU to reduce fuel delivery, making the mixture leaner. Then, when the mixture gets lean and drops to 0.1 volt, the sensor detects more oxygen, so the ECU adds more fuel, making the mixture get richer again. Here's something many people don't know. Your car actually has two O2 sensors. The upstream sensor, before the catalytic converter, does this voltage dance. The downstream sensor, after the catalytic converter, should show a steady voltage of around 0.45 volt. If it doesn't, your catalytic converter might need attention. Now here's the science behind these voltage readings and it's pretty fascinating. It's all about oxygen concentration differences. You get higher voltage when there's a big difference in oxygen levels between your exhaust and the outside air. When the difference is slight, you get a lower voltage. Like everything else, O2 sensors don't last forever. For newer cars, you should think about replacing them every 60,000 to 90,000 miles. If you're driving an older vehicle, that timeline shortens to every 30,000 to 50,000 miles. There are several warning signs you should watch out for. Your check engine light might come on, and you might notice poor fuel economy, experience rough engine performance, or fail an emissions test. Any of these could indicate your O2 sensor needs attention. Pro tip, you can actually check your O2 sensor's health using a scan tool. Look for that classic zigzag pattern in the voltage readings. That's what you want to see. Let's wrap this up with the essentials. Your O2 sensors are crucial for engine efficiency with normal voltage ranging from 0.1 to 0.9 volt. Remember that voltage dance we talked about? It's completely normal and necessary. Keep up with regular maintenance and your car will run clean and efficient. Don't forget to hit that like button if this helps you understand O2 sensors better. Subscribe for more easy to follow car electrical guides and drop your questions in the comments below.